What's going on guys, JPA here. We're gonna be going over the NVIDIA play from this week and kind of what was meant by this hidden flow we got here. So I guess before we get started, let's just go ahead and talk about the trade that happened. So what happened here was we bought the NVIDIA 170 calls for 60 cents on December 6th. So there's not already, December 6th was right here on this big sell day. So we did it right at this 159 range. So we saw a couple repeating bottoms, but also I started to catch some flow. So I ended up taking those calls right about here. There's 12 o'clock. I think we took them at, yeah, 12.48. So kind of somewhere right in this 159, 160 range is where they looked interesting. So one of the reasons I did that, just to kind of go back to this NVIDIA flow here. So we kind of see the these are all the expired options obviously cuz the week's over but there's some a lot of 170 action happening and so it, kind of on a when you see the downtrend happening and the stocks are really selling off spy was selling off this week everything was kind of going down but we had FOMC so you didn't really think we get like a total collapse so you start to look at least I start to look at what can bounce and what can go right and kind of start to make decisions based off of there on what I can do so we're going down, keep going down. And then December 7th, we stay down. So these calls, I mean, there is all kind of comments. Hey, it's going down. What's going on? Wait for 0.15. And I mean, it came pretty close. But the reason I was kind of unshook in my thoughts was, number one, I started, so right here, these neutral bids in unusual whales. So what does it mean when it's a neutral bid? So what this means is the direction of this transaction cannot be positively identified. Transactions that take that A take place exactly between the bid and ask price, B have been modified, added, or canceled, or C have been reported late, will be marked as neutral. So what this means is, I mean these flow software tools, unusual whales, one I mean that's my personal favorite, and I mean shout out unusual whales. We're not the only ones as retail traders who know they exist. Big money knows they're out there. Other major investors know they're out there. And they don't necessarily want to tell you exactly what's happening and let you in on a play that they're trying to make money. They're trying to ultimately take your money away from you. So they don't want to give you any tips to get in there. And you can really, really see like $40 million here, $23 million, $22 million, Like huge, huge dollars happening all in this question mark tag. I did, And this happened on December 7th. And this is kind of where this big tip off happened. So this is where I said market makers are hiding their bids in Nvidia. So suspect that something's happening. So you, ten percent. You only know what ten percent of the total options are doing. I think it's like ten and nine. So really, we only knew what eighty percent of the options were doing. But we saw that there was just massive volume, like one hundred thirty-two thousand calls and one hundred sixty-one thousand puts getting traded. But you're telling me we only know where forty-four million dollars worth of it is going so that's where you got to do a little bit of detective work so just here on the intraday analyst tab for nvidia it's where i like to go because it kind of pulls it all up quickly for you but the big thing is you gotta gotta have to make these assessments yourself when you're looking at these flows so you gotta say okay so these puts are all being transacted like 330s way way deep in the money almost twice the share price of nvidia so what are they trying to do here? And so in my the way I took it was, <clears throat> excuse me, hey, big money, they don't care about percents. They care about making dollars. So if they're, let's see what they're spotting these for, 155, and they have 1,400 contracts, and they say, hey, we think NVIDIA is going to bounce $10 or $12. So it'll make $12 times 1,400 times 100 to make their what million bucks and just like that on the move boom they make it no one else knew that they were there if they start buying calls or buying out of the money calls everyone kind of starts to predict the move that's coming they all see what's happening like they can't just go buy 20 million dollars worth of weekly spy calls without tripping somebody or else giving the tip and also they're buying 123s i bet these start to get closed out or did get closed out you can kind of see here, like this is part of a multi-leg strategy. So here's where one trader's all doing one action about that NVIDIA 330, 270, 295, 285. 
So it's just one of these really suspect trades that's happening that, hey, here's something. It's, it's kind of flashing off the screen. And you can see it. It happened in multiple areas, so we'll go back. So AMD, same thing. It had that hidden flow. Semi news was coming. They were trying to capture that move and really observe it. And then when you wonder, like, well, how big did that move end up being? So these NVIDIA's calls were 60 cents. They went back all the way down to, like, 15 or 18 cents. And they went all the way up to 5.75. So that's what I'm saying. Once you're in these positions... You really got to have a sense of what's happening, what's going on, and don't just don't just hit the panic button as soon as things don't go right. These are your the VIX is still relatively low. It was under 20 at one point and then still low 20s. So there's not the price you're paying in the premium to compared to what you had to pay a few months ago is way way down there. So you don't need to worry about, "Hey, I'm going to get stopped out. Am I doing this? Am I doing that?" I always say Let's say you're going to play $1,000 for a position, and you say, well, I respect a 20% stop-loss rule. Well, next time, put $200 in. If you put $200 in at $0.60, cents, let's say you get three contracts, if it goes to 5.75, and again, you're not going to be perfect, you're not going to get the perfect exit, but let's say it goes to three even, and you get out at three, so sixty cents to three is two fifty. You make seven hundred fifty dollars a contract. If you're respecting a twenty percent stop loss down, I'd be willing to bet you start exiting positions at a twenty or thirty percent gain. So you start kind of doing a more aggressive entry exit. Where does that where is that right balance at? But typically, if you're so afraid to use a stop loss, it's really going to shake you out. And I mean, I think I saw a lot. And same thing. This obviously the spy four hundred three calls we took this week didn't work and that's one of the reasons why I sold Nvidia earlier is because I needed to make my position whole. I needed to kind of, hey, I took a big L on SPY so I need to start recouping some of that money. Right here, back the wrong horse. But it's all about kind of, hey, it's not an all or nothing trade. You gotta pick your shots. If you like one and you don't like the other, you don't see what's going on with one, you don't have to take it. But I try to do the best as I can and kind of inform you guys during the week what I'm thinking and I always want you to know like hey I'm seeing these positions to the end I'm not going to be here to dump anything out on you guys I'm here to like right here road spy all the way to the end same thing had Nvidia just kept holding it wasn't really here to dump anything to just I just I saw that flow and you could still you can this is Friday but I think what the big thing is like these are big dollars like you don't want to look at like every single person doing transactions. Like I like to set my filters to at least twenty five thousand dollars to see what's happening. But try to see what's going on behind the scenes and see how it can make sense. Like if you see people all jumping like a few dollars above the money, below the money, in options and calls and puts, it's hard to kind of guess or make the picture clear on what's really going to happen. But when you start seeing these huge, massive numbers, you can you can best believe you can start predicting some moves, and you can say, "Hey, it might be it like just fair point like this this move could have just as easily been a play down because I said, well, we're gonna make another ten dollars on the downside buying these puts. I'll buy the puts, write it down ten bucks, make their million bucks, sell out easy just like that, and then we're left kind of with nothing from the." nvidia calls but we had a thesis like hey i don't think we're going to go down much slower before cpi before pal talks these are probably worth a shot because i don't think they're just going to drill this thing so i mean basically that's kind of what it comes down to is just use the flow to make an assessment of what's going to happen and if you see just these are all unusual whales app whoops just straight from the unusual way this is right on the cell phone like you can pull this up on your cell phone just say hey what's it looking like at a glance so quick thing i'll just run through this because i had a lot of questions on it so call premium put premium <clears throat> that means dollars spent in calls and puts so 51 million dollars worth of calls is traded 400 million worth of puts that doesn't mean buys and sells it just means that this is how many there were call volume that means total number so 132,000 calls versus 161,000 puts. And then premium right here, $45 million was bullish premium. That means bought at 
to ask because they really wanted it. Bearish premium means of calls or put bought at to ask because they really wanted it for the downside. And when this number gets way down like this, where you don't know what's going on, that's where you need to go into the unusual whales or whatever flow tracker. But unusual whales is the best, in my opinion. Is just go in there, take a look, see what see what you can see, and then that's where you start making your determination. Go, okay, what can I do here? How can I solve this? What 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 can I use to set my edge here? So with that, hope this was a pretty good explanation. Sorry if I rammed a little bit, but uh, if you enjoy this content, you enjoy the Twitter, leave me a like there. Let me know, and I'll see you next time.